Well, everybody, coming back at you, High Country Carnage. I shot my bighorn sheep uh, six days ago. And when I was coming around the canyon, I spotted uh, this water hole. Everything's dry from the 104, 104 degree temperature for two months. But this has water, so uh, when I rode by it, it had several groups of antelope on it. So. It's opening day for our second season archery, September 10th. Excited I got my ram. Excited to get an antelope and head up to uh, to head up to uh, elk camp. <laughs> All the guys in elk camp are freaking out that I'm not in the in the camp this year yet. Hopefully, if I can tag out today on a nice antelope buck. I'll be going home, loading up for half a day, and then uh, getting my butt to the high country to create some carnage. So, here we go, sit back. We're gonna sit in the hot box. <laughs> Hopefully for uh, only until it gets hot and they wanna come in and get the uh, water. So this is my first time back hunting archery antelope. I think in three years. Just too much going on with elk camp and stuff to come out and, you know, burn a week. So, buckle up. Hopefully it's going to be a gotcha moment.
Oh, sh**. Hit him in the leg. What the hell? Oh, no. Oh, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Oh. He's gone now. He's... He's hobbling off with those does. Holy sh**. He's bleeding really good though. He's bleeding really good. It's just low low leg right here. He's bleeding really good. Oh my god. I think he'll lay down. I think he'll lay down and I'll, I'll watch him. He didn't go far. His does are over here. And he's working his way over there. So Must have been from shooting through this screen on the blind. I've never had that happen. I've shot whitetails through there, not even had an issue, but this time it shot about six inches low. Holy sh! Why are they running? What the hell? There's a coyote. There's no way. There's a coyote running. Some coyotes chasing them. Hang on. Let me shut this off. Freaking coyote over there! Fuck my my wounded antelope. I gotta go over there and try to finish this off.
Holy, what a freaking weird hunt, guys. Holy crap, guys. What a weird hunt. That buck came in with all his does. 33 yards, I move my pin to 32. But the screen, I haven't had any problems shooting whitetails through the screen. But the screen must have made it dive down and then a freaking big male coyote. I got some footage of that. He come limping out here really, I mean he's bleeding really hard. I knew he was gonna lay down, but a freaking coyote chased him. I'm not 150 yards from the blind right now. Chased him down and started eating on him. Oh, God dang it, man. I've never seen anything like that, but that was crazy. So I, I had to do something, so I got out. Snuck around. He's, he's really injured. And I got, you probably watched me crawl right up to him. And I get to him and my frickin' rangefinder's dead, so... You know, in the heat of the moment, trying to guess, I had it at 30. Hit him low armpit, which was a vital shot, but I just want to make him go down. So, I thought I hit low, so I, sho I shoved it up to 35. Shot over his ass. <laughs> dropped it back to 32. And put him down. Thank God. I mean, it's not the most humane hunt you're gonna watch but the the whole thing on this hunt is don't give up and if you wound one you go after him you make sure you get your ass on that animal you owe it to the animal you owe, owe it to nature to be an ethical hunter and put him down as fast as you can so this this animal probably suffered more being eaten alive I don't know what the damages are. It looks like half the frickin' hind quarter's already gone on him, just in less than 10 minutes. First day, got my antelope. High country carnage. It's my first one in three years. Now this, this one makes number 19 killed with a bow. Pumped up, let's go frickin' see him. <laughs> Well, here he is, guys. Oh, like I was saying, what a weird, weird hunt, man. He's not the biggest, but I really, honestly, I killed my bighorn sheep. Ah, oh, these bugs are crazy. Killed my bighorn sheep six days ago, last Wednesday. It's uh, Monday, September 10th, the opening day of the se second archery season. And this bad boy came in with his does, 33 yards. You know, tagged out before 10, actually. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Sitting in a hot box in the desert, you know, isn't one of my favorite pastimes, but I tell you what, the meat on these antelope, I've been missing it for three years. And finally, 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 got the time to find a water hole and uh, get it done, so. The jets are flying over, it's a little loud, so I'm speaking a little loud so you can hear me. But, uh, what a weird hunt, man. It was, was uh, wasn't the best shot, but man, I hit an artery or something, because he was bleeding really good and not, he wasn't going to go far. I was going to let him lay up and then uh, try to get a stock on him anyways. And then all of a sudden, man, the, they come out of uh, nowhere, the coyote did, and chased him like a bat out of hell and uh, ended up catching him, putting him down, and this whole off hind quarter is gone in less than minutes. He was sitting there just eating him alive from the ass forward, and the antelope, but just, God, I can't let that happen. So, as an ethical bow hunter, hunter, I got out of the blind and did a stalk and got right on him and, you know, my, my range finder, I should be able to range without it but god dang it man I put it to 30 and I hit him I mean he's right there right there in the low low armpit I mean it would have killed him but I wanted to shoot till he was down then I put one I raised it up and cut through his back strap and then did a final shot got him put on the ground for good so 
I did my part as an ethical bow hunter. I know it's not the best video, but uh, like I said earlier, it's it's you got to do it. You got to be ethical. You, if you wound one, you just stop hunting until you kill that animal. And uh, in this case, I had to kill this animal, finish him off before he was brutally eaten alive. So if you're a hunter. Grab a gun, come out here, and start taking out some of these predators. I just witnessed how effective these coyotes can be. You'd think they'd never be able to run down an antelope, but man, that thing was hauling ass and got him. So, all in all, good hunt. Another kill shot on video for you. And uh, that's two tags field in six days, and I'm jacked up because I get to go chase wolves, bears, and elk possibly a mule deer with my son and all of the elk camp guys so stay with us hit the like subscribe tell your buddies about high country carnage because we're uh we're getting some good footage for you guys